Most of us have seen an old electrical outlet that doesn't have a hole for the ground wire on a plug. And a reasonable person would ask themselves if this older electrical system worked fine without a ground wire, why do I have to have one now? To answer that question, let's look at a simple circuit that has one outlet. This circuit is correctly connected and it has a ground wire. If we were to plug something into our outlet, then from the breaker, current would flow from the hot wire to the outlet through whatever we plugged in and it would return on the neutral wire back to our circuit breaker panel. This is AC power and there is a little more to how AC current flows. However, I don't want to get into electrical theory. Uh, the point is that current will flow through the hot wire, through whatever is plugged into the outlet, and return back to its source on the neutral wire. Whatever is plugged into the outlet is called the load, and as long as that device is functioning properly, the circuit breaker won't trip. If I were to put a wire between the hot and neutral holes in the outlet, that would cause a dead short across the hot and neutral. In other words, there's no load. And that would cause a high current situation on the circuit, which would cause the breaker to trip and turn power off to this circuit. If there was some sort of damage to this hot wire and the metal conductor was laying against our metal box, the box would become energized. It would create a direct short between the metal box and our lug that's holding on the ground wire and the current would travel back to the breaker on this ground wire. There would be a high current situation that would trip the breaker and turn power off to the circuit and make the metal box safe to touch. So here's a circuit that only has a hot and a neutral wire. The earth under the right conditions can act like a wire. If the black hot wire on this circuit made contact with the metal box, it would energize it. It would have no path back to its source because this is an open so it couldn't return on the neutral wire. It would be energized and if a person came along and touched this box you would get a shock. If say you were maybe standing in some water and didn't have any shoes on that may be the right conditions to complete the path for current to go back to the source through ground. The circuit would work this way. The current would flow through the hot onto the metal box through the person and then through the earth which is now the big ground wire and back up to the source. So if there had been this hardwired ground wire from the metal box back to the source, as soon as this black wire faulted, it would cause a high current and travel back on the hardwired ground wire to the source, trip the breaker, and turn off power to the circuit. And if the breaker kept on shutting off, you would have to go out and troubleshoot the circuit to find the trouble. 
this circuit is dangerous because it's waiting for you to come along and possibly complete the path through the earth ground back to the source. You may be thinking that a breaker will trip if a person becomes part of the path back to the power source. The breaker won't trip because a person is just like a load. In other words, there's resistance. And if there's resistance on the circuit, a high current condition won't be created and the breaker won't trip. We can take this one step further and have a look at this old circular saw that is a poster child for electrocution. It only has two wires, just a hot and a neutral, no ground. It's the same situation as the metal box and our hot wire. If the hot wire inside of the saw came in contact with the metal case, again, if a person were holding on to that saw, it's possible under the right conditions that the person would be part of the circuit on the return to the power source. Hopefully, after watching this video, you understand why a ground wire in your electrical system is so important. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.